All right, we got 100 volts between four batteries in series, 425 volt, multi-stars, 10 amp hours. So 10 amp hours by 100 volts is one kilowatt hour of stored power. Our battery terminals come up into the controller and, uh, over on the back side. So phases not running out on Hall effect sensors. You can see those are cut. Well, kind of. There we go. So Hall effect sensors are cut. Just phase wires, and I had to reverse the green and blue to get it to go the right direction with this controller, but it is hooked up. And I'm soon going to have a mid-drive. So what's cool about this is there's your first sprag clutch, and there's your second sprag clutch. So you have a dual input. I can pedal, or the motor can drive it, and it's not going to drive my pedals when the motor's driving it. Or I can do both at the same time if I want to, but I can coast like a regular bicycle again. I don't have the hub motors that are causing resistance when I want to coast. So, um, this says... 900 RPM at 72 volts. And let me block the. There we go. 72 volts, 900 RPM. I'm going to take an RPM reading here in a second. But, um, we shall see.